Mess. First of all, what's your name, ma'am? Diane McManus. Spell your last name? M C M A N U S. Okay, tell me how all this evolved today. What the, the dog will be 15 next month. And she's a golden retriever collie mix, a, a rescue. I got her back in 2006. So and you got away from Friday or what? She was out in the front yard and somehow wandered yeah. between the chain link fence and the wood fence my neighbors put up. There's about a foot and a half space to it. And she walked out down it and she ended up out here by the ravine and she can hardly walk. She's got bad arthritis and she's deaf. She died? Because she's so old and she oh, must have, no. in the dark, she just must, she's so unsteady on her feet, she must have just in the dark couldn't see it and it just fell right in. When did you realize you were down there? No, uh, this morning. We've had people walk in the ravine all day yesterday. Many, many people. I got more coming this afternoon and I've just had a feeling about this all the time because this is our, we own the half of the ditch, which was part of our property, and that's why they tell me that they can't ever do anything to fix it because it's it's our land and not county land. So you bought this property how long ago? Uh, 2000, December 2012. And since in the past eight years you've seen this deteriorate. What was, when you bought it in 2012, how deep was that ever being? Probably eight feet. And this water coming off the subdivision here just kind of... Yeah, and a narrow, this wideness okay. of it now is, is new. I mean, in the last three years. Okay. The pipe coming in underneath, you said just like a, just like a hose flowing Yeah, out. the pipe under the road is only a four-foot diameter pipe culvert, and it's coming out of it like you pulled your finger over the end of a hose, and it sprays outward, so it's eroded everything to where it's, I don't know how wide that is, you think. You're basically, you and your neighbor losing quite a bit of property. Oh, yeah, we own each half of, of the whole. <laughs> No one's able to do anything about it? Give no, it I've talked to county engineers and everybody, and no one, everybody they refer me to just refers me to somebody else, and then I finally got an answer that no, it's our problem. It's our land. What about valuation of your land? Are they trying to still go up on it, or are they, are they taking this into consideration? They still try and go up on it, and we can test it a lot. How much land do you have there? It's supposed to be one point two seven acres I think and we are losing at least the point two part or thereabouts. More washing away all the time? All the time and now our fence is getting closer to and closer to the erosion and that strip that of grass by our side used to be about 25 feet wide and full of trees and now they're all falling into the hole and washing down. So your husband went down this morning to get the dog? Yeah, I was back on my computer and answering next door responses. People have been absolutely wonderful. I've gotten over 50, 60 responses of volunteers asking to help, but no leads. And so he just, and I both just had a feeling, and he went down there this morning. I didn't even know he was down there. I was working on the computer on lost dogs registration all over the country. And, um, he texted me and said, I found her, I'm in the ravine. And I kind of freaked out because I was, first thing I thought is, what am I do? You know, and then I immediately said, I'm calling 911. And he said, just call the neighbors. And I said, no, you're too deep in a hole. And there's no way anyone has the equipment to safely pull you out. So I called you guys and y'all were here very, very quickly. You what made you it out for out here before I did. <laughs> oh, so pleased. I can't believe it. We think she's got a broken hip and possibly more, but hopefully no internal injuries. We're gonna the fire nice firemen here are gonna probably take her to the emergency center for me. And I'll just have to follow once I figure out where they're doing it with Chad. So I appreciate what's your name, sir? Chad McManus. Chad? Been looking for your dog for a few days. How, how did 30, it come about this morning? How did all 30 started? hours. Um, a bunch of people had said they'd look behind the creek, uh, behind our house. Um, and I just had the premonition overnight that uh, she was back there. And I went out this morning and found her uh, maybe after a 30 minute search um, and went down and slid down to make sure she was alive. She was fine. She's injured. Um, but I'm fine. Uh, the rescue department did a fabulous job pulling us both out. Um, and um, it's a good story. What do you think coming out of there? I mean, it looked uh, like it was they a, had a little effort getting... A little, little tough. I haven't repelled in, in 40 years, so <laughs> it, was, it was a little tough. Got me a little dirty. 
but uh, uh, everybody's good and, and, and that's a good story. What kind of repelling four years ago? Uh, 40 years ago, uh, I repelled out of my high school dormitory, my uh, college dormitory. <laughs> <laughs> what about the dog? How, was, the dog when, appears when to be got... slightly injured, but uh, awake, and and you know um, she's she's licking me and and acting like she's okay. I, I think she's got a broken leg. Uh, she's obviously dehydrated after a day and a half. No, she wasn't barking. She was not making a sound, which is very odd. Uh, she's deaf, but she was just lying there, and I just happened to spot her. Appreciate it. Rested. Good. Okay. What's your name? Gwen Vegas. Spelling your last name, Gwen? V A G I S. Tell me about this. How long have you lived out here? Uh, my husband and I built our house 17 years ago. You have a little drainage ditch next door when you first bought it. Yes, it was a little drainage di ditch, and we have lost significant um, property over the course of the 17 years, and it's, it's doubling now in size. I've seen this thing, I mean, just washing more and more away. I've seen your fence posts, and the actual base of your fence posts sticking out of the ground now. Yes, from the fence to the original part of the ditch would have been easily 25 feet, and you can see the erosion is now at the fence line. Again, county officials, state officials, nothing being done at all? Nothing being done. We've reported it from every level of um, homeowners association, to the uh, utilities company because there's an exposed um, water main water from Aqua Texas that is um, at the very front of that ditch. They've come out and done repairs, but nothing significant. People are at the tax assessor's office now getting um, revision on their property values due to the significant erosion. So people are fully aware of it from neighbor all the way up to the highest level. And no one seems to want to do something about it. Everybody wants to here. give it to someone else, but then they won't let us do it because of the liability, and I don't have $2 million to throw in a ditch. <laughs> the engineers are saying it's going to cost? About $5 million, yes, to properly remedy it, because now it's it's twice as bad as it was. What is the source of this water? Just throughout the subdivision here? Yeah, I mean, obviously, this is Lake Creek Forest. We have creeks and lakes. There's actually, on the other side of the neighborhood, a, a similar pro problem. It's not as significant as ours, but um, we have lakes running off um, from Red Oak Ranch, surrounding areas that come through our neighborhood and then drain into Lake Creek, which is the, I think, the north border of our neighborhood. Okay? Right, appreciate it. Okay, thanks. thanks. <laughs> Your name and title? William Dicker, Assistant Chief of Operations for Needham Fire and Rescue in Montgomery County ESD4. Spell your last name? D as in Delta, I C K E R. Around 10.09, crews got dispatched to a uh, generic fire call. Uh, en route, they were notified to be a low angle rescue. They had a man and a dog in a ditch, no known injuries. Uh, crews arrived on location. Uh, found a man uninjured, did not get to the lead, and had a dog. Uh, at that time, one of our battalion teams arrived on location and established the man and notified for uh, Woodlands Rescue Team 101 uh, to make location to effect the rescue. Uh, any problems with the it was like a pretty steep ravine. Uh, it was a pretty steep ravine. Uh, it kept sloughing off. Uh, bits of material kept going down in this drainage. Uh, so that uh, posed a little bit of a challenge. Crews did a great job. They were able to get down to the, uh, the dog who was injured. Uh, they brought the dog up first so we can get it to veterinary care. Uh, and then we got the, uh, the man that was looking for his dog, got him out. So a very I successful rescue and a great, uh, great team effort by all. No, it looks like it's eroded quite a bit with the uh, the flooding that's happened here locally over the years. Okay. Yeah, I think his his hip is out of as dislocated. It feels like here, or were you already getting hip surgery for him? No, he hadn't been, and they haven't said yet that he's absolutely has to, or she has to have it. Okay. I just worry about internal injuries and everything. Too. Yeah, and that's. Why we were concerned, I went ahead and called the vet, like I said, and let you, let them know. Really so they were, that. they should be uh, aware of everything that's going on. Thank you so much. Yeah.